Hello everyone, I'm Sean Boyd in the State Operations Center here at Cal OES headquarters outside of Sacramento. As of today, there are over 9,400 firefighters fighting fires in California, fires that have burned almost a quarter of a million acres. Here's the latest on the three largest fires, starting with the Camp Fire in Butte County. It has already become the most destructive and deadliest wildfire in California history. It's burned over 140,000 acres. Containment is now up to 40%. Over 10,000 structures destroyed, 56 confirmed fatalities, with still more than 100 missing. The Woolsey Fire, covering both Ventura and Los Angeles counties, it's now closing in on 100,000 acres, containment up to 57%, and now three confirmed fatalities. And firefighters continue to make great progress on the Hill Fire, also in Ventura County. The Hill Fire now almost fully contained. There are over 1,100 fire engines now on these fires. Of those, nearly half are local government engines from all over the state. 18% are mutual aid and have come from over a dozen states from all across the country. Cal OES engines make up 17% of the force with Cal Fire and federal engines rounding out the total. And now a quick update on shelters in Butte County. The American Red Cross will take over the operation of the shelter at the Glen County Fairgrounds starting Friday, November 16th. Overall, there are nine total shelters and one on standby for the campfire. That information can be found at wildfirerecovery.org. For survivors of the campfire, a disaster recovery center will open on Friday, November 16th. The center will be located at the former Sears store in the Chico Mall, 1982 East 20th Street in Chico. The center will be open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. seven days a week. The disaster recovery center will have information and resources for homeowners, renters, and business owners who sustained damage as a result of the campfire. The California Highway Patrol has been providing mutual aid since the beginning with traffic control, highway closures, and law enforcement. The CHP is working with the Butte County Sheriff's Department and Paradise to help clear roads and highways of vehicles that were caught in the fires. Their safety hazards and once on tow trucks will be moved to a staging area. They tell us they're all working well together it's teamwork made better through relationships they've already forged. We work very well with the local uh, law enforcement. So that teamwork early on, we come up here, we know people face to face, uh, we know the communities, and we can step in and fill whatever role they need us to do. Now they're also checking cars for the remnants of valuables left behind, though at this point they may only have sentimental value. Now if you need additional information on assistance, shelter, or recovery, you can find all of that information up to date and more on our website, wildfirerecovery.org. For all of us here at Cal OES and all of our partner agencies working hard for you behind us, I'm Sean Boyd. Thanks for watching.